Hi everyone, it's Charles at Empress Mills and today we are taking a look at the, um, well I say brand new, it's the Winter and Bluebell Wood Flannel, which is a Christmas collection from Lewis and Irene and it is new, but it came in um, two or else three weeks ago now, it arrived into stock, it was so so popular, we didn't even get a chance to do a video on it, but we finally got some more stock, some healthy looking bolts, uh, rather than some anemic ones which we'd ended up with as we'd, uh, as we'd cut lots of orders. Um, so thank you very much for everyone who has ordered already. Uh, but we've got these larger bolts in and we thought we would do a video. So not brand new, but certainly not an ancient rage. It is uh, it, it only arrived in relatively recently. Um, the collection itself is Lewis and Irene's very first foray into creating flannel fabrics. And what they have done is look back at one of their incredibly popular ranges, which was Winter in Bluebell Wood. And they've taken those designs. I do believe they've made a few slight tweaks, but nothing major at all um, from the original design collection. And they have applied them to flannel in what we think, and what obviously, as I, as I mentioned earlier, it's already been popular, what lots of you already think. Uh, they have applied it in a fantastic way, and it has come across absolutely wonderfully on this slightly new um, fabric medium. Flannels in general have becoming more uh, be been becoming more and more popular. We've got a planes collection and we've had designs for a while, but we haven't um, at least had a collection that really ties together like this one. So it's nice to have something um, that does really tie together and it follows Lewis and Irene's classic pattern of there being 15 fabrics in the collection. There's some blenders at the bottom which we'll look at, but there's 15 fabrics in the collection and um, five main designs, three colorways in each. So it will be interesting to see, hopefully start to see projects from you guys, you know, tying those designs together and using them all um, in sets. The flannel itself is pure cotton. It's a lovely, lovely weight, 100% cotton flannel. Let me just open it out to show you in a little bit more detail. It's a lovely weight, 100% cotton. And as with all flannels, it has a slightly textured front, so it's brushed, which just gives it a little bit of, um, I'm always very hesitant when describing a flannel to call it fluff, but it's almost got just that little bit of fluff, that little bit of pile to it on the top, um, which gives it the warmth, because it just adds some softness, and it adds a little bit of bulk, which helps increase the warmth of the fabric. And the back is the just the standard cotton back, so that is just flat. Um, it is only the one side that is brushed and it's got this sort of gorgeous, yummy softness to it almost. Um, yes, and it's as I say, it's that that really adds to the warmth as well. Um, so, the designs, there are all sorts, so let me get cracked on, then I'm not boring you too much with with uh, with chatting about the fabric itself, which is more my thing. Um, this is by far the main print in the collection, and what have they actually called it? Let me just get the actual name for you, then I'm not making things up. So they've just they've, they've called this Winter Woods of Lewis and Irene. So it's the it's the classic Winter Woods, and it starts to bring together many of the design elements that you'll see in some of the other prints in the range. You've got this lovely wintry forest. You've got the little animals starting to appear. Particularly, I'm a big fan of this little owl that appears throughout many of the uh, many of the prints. But we've got the deer and the fox and the little hare and things, and this sort of Christmassy wintry um, flora and fauna that we will see throughout the collection. That has got this gorgeous sort of icy blue background, but it also comes in this much more brown shade. Whoops. There we go. In this brown shade here. Now, personally, I am a massive fan of this sort of wintry icy blue background that we've got on the, um, on the first fabric, but in all fairness, this, this brown colour, personally, I think you can just see the design elements, that little bit crisper. I think they just stand out slightly, um, slightly more clearly against that browner background. But it's all personal preference. As I say, the, the first one is by far my favourite. But of course, it just depends on you. Now, Mum, and it's, it's just worth mentioning because it's interesting about this shade, Mum's not normally a fan of the... Um, brown shades and things, she's more along my, my sort of lines, the sort of brights and the blues and things. She loved this one because she said it's got almost a warmth to it as that, as that brown brown background colour. And it is just an interesting little note. It's not just a, a, a dark brown, you know, it's got that sort of touch of warmth to it almost, which sort of mirrors the actual fabric itself 
um, as well. And then finally, without further ado, conscious of not taking up too much of your time, let's take a quick look at this one. This has got this gorgeous sort of midnight blue shading at the back. And again, the design really pops on that. You're really seeing the animal, the colours of the animals and things. The fox in particular, just look at him, really, really pops on that. And then with the hair and the owl and the, obviously the deer as well. And again, the floral elements on there, just making, you know, sort of slightly more of an appearance because against that different background. As I say, it's all personal preference. Of course it is. Um, I always laugh and say it's a bit like children. You shouldn't have favourites when, you, when, when you're when you in the fabric game, let's say. But but, uh, but we do and... Um, and I'm not into fibbing, so I'll always, I'll always tell you my favourite, definitely. Um, so yes, that's the main print. Let me move on to one of the others. This next design, I will get the name. This is Winter Florals. And I think you are going to love this one. We were all very impressed with this here at Empress. And we're really seeing those floral elements come to life in this one. You've got the Christmas rose, um, the Helleboris, I think I'm, think I'm pronouncing that right, but there's the Christmas rose in the middle. You've got some mistletoe offshoots, some little berries, pine needles, all sorts appearing on this design. So it's a fantastic all-rounder and it comes in the three colourways. Let me just show you it in that colourway. So it appears there. And to me, that one again just makes that back, that background colour just helps it pop a little bit. For your finding it on the website, this is F45. This is colour two, and you can search that on the website if you so wish. But they're all lined up on there anyway. And then there's the darker colour background, which really shows off the rose in the centre of the centre of this design element. To my way of thinking but again you know you can really make out the mistletoe on this and the little berries they've changed the color to fit that different background and obviously the pine needles and other elements too um now let me just tidy up a little bit i'm not used to such bulky fabric let me just um well, i say not used to bulky fabric fleece is one of the biggest sellers here at empress so i'm used to dealing with it but i'm not used to videoing it let me put it that way uh, let me just move these We've got some room to explore the next print, which again is a, this one's actually been, along with the main design, this has been the, the favourite uh, the favorite print of the, of the entire collection. Let me get it the right way around. It is a directional design. Whoops. Here we go. And I'll get the name bang on. I think it's Winter Animals, but yes. Uh, winter wood animals, sorry, winter wood animals, just reflecting the bluebell wood title. And it's got absolutely all sorts. And this is where Lewis and Irene are brilliantly pulling elements from all over the design. And as you can see on here, we've got the uh, owl, the fox, the hare, and then some nice um, flora from the, from the main design sort of pulling through. And along with the red, it comes on this gorgeous icy blue styled coloured background just there and again the design really crisp and clear on that background in particular and also on this natural shaded background let me open this one up and we can oops this is the other way around i think the manufacturers have been tricking me on this one every bolt seems to be slightly the different way around so i've got to play with it to get the design right for you but there we go in the natural colour background as well. Now that one, um, as you can see, it's really letting the berries pop. And that's again just Lewis and Irene tweaking the design so it fits the different backgrounds. Um, and making all of the designs work depending on, um, even though, sorry, should I say, the different shades are changing. Just nice little touches of detail. I am sure you will agree. Now... The remaining, the remaining section, remainder, remaining section are mainly blenders. So I whip through them quite quickly. I do want to give you a quick view of them, just so you get a feel for the size of the design and things. I know that's, uh, I know that's the real useful thing with the videos. So let me just get onto those. We've got the mistletoe print just here. And it's just a nice all-over mistletoe design. And this, 
This to me is where, I mean, to be honest, with, with some of the others as well, but the blenders in particular, flannels are useful for so many projects. I mean, we're seeing them used more and more and more in quilts, and I'm, I know some of you will be shouting at me, no doubt. Yes, it's been used in quilts forever. I know it has, but it seems to be becoming more and more popular. We are being asked for flannels much, much more than we ever have been since I even started working at Empress. Well, for, for, forever, in fact, because it seems it's a family company. But, but you know, for, full time, what, 10, 15 years ago, um, we have never been asked as much for flannels with a view to quilting. But they are also perfect for so many other projects. Um, shirts, this is what we would class as an American sort of weight flannel, so it's not a winter yet, it's that bit heavier, it is a true flannel, um, so it's perfect for shirts, pyjamas in particular, nice cosy PJs, um, and obviously quilts, also wonderful for backing a quilt that you've maybe made with a standard fabric, with a classic 100% cotton quilting fabric front, if you want to use something just a little bit cosy, a little bit special on the back, the flannels are wonderful and it just adds that little touch to the warm for a wintry style um, quilt. And again, that is where these blenders, yes, these designs are fantastic, particularly if they're the, you know, the real main focus of the print and, you know, and the, and the main design hiding under there. But the blenders have been super popular and um, I think it's for that very reason because they can be used across the full um, spectrum of projects that you're really expecting flannels to, uh, to be used for. Um, so yes, enough of my waffling. Let me... Let me get back to the colours. We've got the ice blue in the mistletoe. This sort of almost army green style khaki colour background in that one. But it really, really works with the mistletoe on that, I've got to say. And again, this is seeing Lewis and Irene's fantastic use of colour throughout the range. It means that the range, yes, it all tones together well. They are very, very keen on making sure that happens. But it's not monotonous. It's not just a repeating colour that you see in every design. Um, it's very clever the way they do that. And then we've got this natural background with the mistletoe being flipped around now in the design and being the icy blue feature. I'm a big fan of that one, I think that's nice. I do, I like that one. And then, now Lewis and I have just called this dots. I would go abstract berries, use some artistic license. But we've got the red on this sort of natural colored background and then let me just move it out of the way. I'm making a mess again. Move these three. Here we go. Let me just make some room. Look at that. There's this natural, all over natural um, spot there. And then this icy blue, both background and then the dots themselves highlighted in this icy blue colour as well. So that's a, that's a really nice, so quite a fresh um, style print. Now, lastly, there are three bumbleberries in the collection. I won't bore you looking at bumbleberries. We'll do a separate video chatting about all the ins and outs of how Lewis and Irene create a bumbleberry print in general afterwards. It is their standard, um, bumbleberries are their standard, um, what am I trying to say, blender fabric collection that they run and Overall, just, just the real key takeaways, there are seven shades in each bumbleberry. So that red, there's actually seven different tonal shades of red in there. And there's a cream and a silver as well. Um, so it really does blend so fantastically well into so, so many ranges. Whether it's the flannel or, of course, whether it's one of their classic um, pure cotton quilting fabrics uh, bumbleberries. It gives you that spectrum of shades in each and every design. So there's three bumbleberries in the... Um, collection that's come as part of these funnels too um, and that is it I've got there I'm sorry I've gone on a little bit long there I hope it's been useful looking at all the all the designs I'm always keen to do that um, we will pop some chapters underneath so we can so you can sort of jump about a little bit easier and before we go out we'll just mention that the we've got the fat quarter packs these are curated by Lewis and Irene not by Empress they're selected by the design team there to work together in a tonal way, but not become monotonous. Like I mentioned with one of the fabrics earlier, Lewis and I spend a lot of time working on the shading to ensure that works right across the range, but doesn't just become a bland. Oh yes, they've ticked the box of Bow Blues blending, for example. So we've got those, um, we've got those there, and we've also got the full fat quarter pack available, which is just a little thing from Empress with a little bit of a, a treat on the website for that as well. Um, Yes, I hope that's been useful. As I say, 100% cotton flannel fabric. Lewis and Irene's first foray into it. 
I hope you're going to love it. It seems to be popular so far, and we, we are certainly a fan of it here at Empress. It's a, it is truly a lovely, lovely quality cloth. If you have any questions, you know what to do, please get in touch, leave a comment underneath the video, I will get back to you. You can message us through the website or through any of our social media channels, please don't hesitate to do that. And of course, don't forget, you can pick up the phone, we're a friendly bunch, um, the telephone number's on the website, give us a call and either me or one of the team will be delighted to be of help, whether it's about this range or any of the other collections here at Empress. Thank you very much indeed for watching as always, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.